Okay, now I'm going to show detailing of an ear, since I just happen to have this lady in front of me. I'm going to use the same nail art tool you saw previously. You could also use a sanded toothpick. And I'm going to take my alcohol and coat the ear with it to reduce drag on my tool. Okay, we've done that part. Now, why do you have to detail ears? Well, when people are making a mold for porcelain, one of the areas that they have to fudge on is the ears. Because if they made the detail in the ear as deep as it is in real life, you'd never get the piece out of the mold. So, we artists do the best we can. And my later molds are a little bit better than my earlier molds as far as including ear detail. Because I've gotten a little bit better at figuring out how much detail I can put in and still get the mold to come apart and how much I can't. Okay. Now, what I'm trying to do here, now if you can tell, I'm trying to get this in focus, is I'm using like a side swiping motion to deepen the detail. So it's like using more of the ball of the tool than the absolute point. And this is like for areas on the ear, which are basically a smoother indention. Okay, do you see how much I successfully deepened that area? And let's go for the ear here. Hopefully the cat crying in the background will not end up on the video. But she desperately wants to come into this room because the door is closed. And needless to say, being a cat, she thinks a closed door is an offense against feline of all description. But I figured I'd have a much better time making videos if she wasn't on the table helping me. Okay, now for the areas that are a little bit sharper. That's where you want to use just the tip. And we're going to increase the line indentation that's right before you get to the outer edge of the ear. Okay. Now, needless to say, I am doing this through an LCD screen. You know, I'm getting a little bit better at figuring out how much pressure to put, even though I cannot directly see the doll. This isn't really up to my normal standards. So I'm going to... Um, See if I can't go off screen and do the detailing a little bit better and then show you the finished detailing before it's smoothed. I will be right back.